the thing that you'll find about Northern's program that is unusual is the two things. One, the faculty is very well educated. The majority of them have PhDs in social work. Well, all of us are well researched and written and in in considered experts in our field. And two, the methodology that we have, are going to employ is called team-based learning, which is something that is different than any other social work program that I know of, actually, in the country. Um, if you learn the terms of social work, that's one thing. But what we're trying to do is teach social workers how to think critically through a case. What you'll find, and I talked about the contextual way that we think about clients, that not only just the client, but the environment they find themselves in, and, and a lot of, most of our clients are multi-problem, or any problem that we deal with, even if it's administration. So what do you do with that? How do you think through a problem more clearly? And a lot of people will look at a case and, and want to go immediately to intervention. But it's the assessment piece that's more important. So say, for example, if you have a problem that you're working with a team of other colleagues in the program with your professors assisting you to think through their problem critically, you can look at signs and symptoms of a case and, and be very good at assessment, which then makes your interventions much more precise. For example, there's no alcohol, uh, there's no alcoholic that's going to come into your office and say, by the way, I'm an alcoholic. Your clients come in and say, I can't keep a job, my wife doesn't like me, and you notice that they have a distended stomach. Um, those signs and symptoms point to alcoholism, whether they talk about that or not. So if you know that, then you know what interventions to actually start working on as opposed to testing and trying things back and forth, back and forth. Um, there are only eight things, for example, that cause seizures. If you know that, then you can work with a family on those eight things and narrow it down, and then your intervention is much more precise. So it makes people much better at assessment, much faster, much more effective, and their interventions are spot on. So in terms of being a social worker, we're turning out some very sophisticated, very good, excellent social workers. The faculty here, you'll find, take the profession very seriously. We're turning out students who essentially, if you're in private practice, for example, or mental health, you're making life and death decisions. So we take that very seriously. We don't want any student. We want excellent students, and we want to train excellent social workers because it's a very difficult profession. That might be another myth that people want to talk about, that they think, if you just want to work with people, you're a good social worker. Not necessarily true. So we want people who can think well, who can talk to people, and know what they're looking at when they see it.